to Make Better Wealth Decisions, a podcast that explores how financial advisors' blind spots can harm your investments. I'm your host, John DeGuy, a portfolio manager with Design Securities in Toronto. In this podcast, we'll provide advice on how you can achieve better outcomes by maximizing investments and minimizing taxes. Let's put our thinking caps on as we consciously decide to get smarter about our money. This past week on the Make Better Wealth Decisions podcast, we talked with Michael Scarpati, who has an American-based platform dealing with financial wellness and retirement planning. It was a useful conversation, and there are oftentimes things that come up in these conversations that I think need to be drawn out so that people can think about them in a more purposeful way when they go about making better wealth decisions. One of the things that came up in our conversation was a notion of the possibility of a lost decade. Now, Michael used the example of the period from 2000 to 2010 with the drawdown after the dot-com bubble at the turn of the millennium, then again, the global financial crisis eight or nine years later. And he showed that people could have started with a certain amount of wealth and stock markets were at a certain level and a decade could go by and they could be at the same level 10 years later. Now, a lot of people make the assumption that, well, we have historical rates of return of maybe seven, eight, nine percent And going forward, we might be expecting rates of return to be maybe a bit lower at six and a half or seven percent. But at any rate, we oftentimes think that the returns that are set as the expectation are the sorts of things that we should expect on an ongoing basis. In fact, returns are chunky. We can oftentimes have periods where returns are substantially higher than we expect. And I would point out that 2023 and 2024 have been uh, among those. But we also have periods of prolonged drawdowns where it could take you a very, very long time to regain your previous highs. We talked about a lost decade, but one of the things that we did not talk about was the context of what their evidence shows with regard to one of the things that we touched on, and that is the CAPE ratio. The cyclically adjusted price earnings ratio is a calculation that was derived by Nobel laureate Robert Schiller. And currently, the CAPE ratio for the S&P 500 is hovering around 37 or 38, about as high as it has been ever in history, with the exception of maybe a couple of years at around the turn of the millennium because of the dot-com bubble. Here's the interesting thing. Not only is the CAPE ratio exceptionally high by historical standards, but if you take a look at what returns have been, actual ex experience returns from uh, a reading, what you find is that when the reading is in the mid to high 30s, the next decade, the expected return for the benchmark that is uh, experiencing that, uh, that reading is oftentimes somewhere around zero. In other words, this is another way of saying that given that rates are as high as they are right now and valuations are as high as they are right now in the U.S., it is entirely reasonable, perhaps even probable, to expect that the next decade will be a lost decade and that the stock market might very well be at the same level in 2034 as it is in 2024. It's not a prediction. All I'm saying is that by historical standards, that's about what you can expect when the CAPE ratio gets that high, looking out 10 years after it reached those highs. Something that you need to think about when you're doing your financial planning and when you make your wealth decisions. John DeGuy is a portfolio manager with Design Securities in Toronto. The views expressed in this program are not to be construed as specific advice. It is recommended that you consult a qualified advisor before taking action. His books, The Professional Financial Advisor 4, Stand Up to the Financial Services Industry and Bull Shift are available through Amazon and in bookstores throughout Canada. You can reach John at 647-STAND-UP. That's 647-782-6387 or at jdegui at designedsecurities.ca.